Hello friends, how are you today? It's Sharon here from the blog I Restore Stuff, ready for a DIY project today and this week is up, our upcycle challenge. So I hope you're ready for that. We've got two days left to enter the challenge. So if you're watching the replay today, comment the word replay for another chance to win prizes within the 24 hours after we've gone live. But today, stay tuned, join in the conversation and you have a chance to win transfers today. If you've never tried rub-on transfers, today is the day that you might win a set of rub-on transfers. So we've got three prizes going today, three sets of rub-on transfers. Hi Tracy, how are you going? Sprinkling from PA, thank you so much for sprinkling and sharing our live today. Here's my little reminder. This is the code you can use, I restore stuff if you want to get 10% off anything at Essential Stencils. Um, shop online, share, that means just hit that little button down the bottom there and tell other people about our challenge today because you can win prizes. It's a whole shopping spree that you could win um, if you enter the DIY, the upcycle challenge this week. So how about that? Hi, Elisa. Everyone's so keen and excited. Colleen's here. Evelyn's here. Miriam's here. So glad to see you. So I thought we'd start out. Here are some of my projects that I'm going to be using today. Found this basket randomly just... Um, it held a few things that I had in the house. I also found this little tin bucket that I had painted a long time ago in some milk paint, which is that paint that can um, be a little bit chippy. So I like that kind of chippy, flaky look. So we're going to be using that today. I don't know how much time I have, so I may get on to using these wooden coasters that I found at a thrift store. So I thought I'd upcycle those and add some stencils to those. They're just wooden coasters that I've pre-sanded the top on. So let's have a look and I think we'll go to, um, just got to change this screen here because I was going to show you guys our um, upcycle challenge on the back screen behind me. So let me get that organized. I'm trying to see if I can find my live. There it is so I can see your comments here. Suzette says, hey, this is going to be fun. Yes, I love upcycling. Now tell me if you've already entered the challenge, let me know in the comments below if you've already entered uh, your upcycled project using essential stencil, either the stencils or the rub-on transfers, let us know in the comments if you have already entered. All right, I'm going over to our homepage now and I'm going to show you the screen behind me. See if you can see this. Here's uh, the homepage and the link is right there in our description of the live. You can see the link and essential stencil. We'll put that um, in the pinned comments there to show you how you can join and enter this upcycle challenge for a chance to win an essential stencil shopping spree. So there's three, three chances to win, three lucky prizes. So you can see it's Friday, um, Saturday the 7th of January to Friday, January the 13th. So you've got, what's that, two more days, two more days to enter because you guys are on Wednesday night. I'm in Australia, it's Thursday morning here, but you've got two days. And I'd say they'd last, you know, they'd go till the end of Friday. So you've got probably until midnight Friday, January the 13th. Let's just scroll up here behind me. You can see um, these are some of the things. Oh, hang on. No, we've got to do, we've got to go join us. So when you get to the homepage, click join us. Here's where we're going to go and look, read about the Upcycle Challenge. You can tell you, you can see everything, some examples there. So at the end of the challenge, they'll be selecting the top three projects to feature on our page for the community to vote on. So it's a voting thing, guys. The top three submissions will win an essential stencil shopping spree. We can't wait to see what you come up with. So how to enter is right there. Uh, you've got to submit your project before January the 13th. Yes, at midnight. Create an upcycle project using essential stencils and or rub on transfers. Then you take a photo and highlight your beautiful finished project. Um, you've got to post it on Facebook or Instagram. Now make sure where you're posting it, it is public for everybody to see because if you have a private page that you're posting it to, it may not be seen by Essential Stencil. So make sure your page or your Instagram is public. So post that on Facebook or Instagram with a hashtag ES Upcycle Challenge. So all of the details are right there and you also have to tag Essential Stencils so they see your project. Otherwise, they won't be able to see who's, who's got their upcycle challenge up there. So it's at Essential Stencil on both Facebook and Instagram. So yes, shopping spree. So let me scroll down a little bit further. I don't know if you can read that behind me. Um, <clears throat> there's some inspirational projects, but here's where you can win 
First prize is a $100 shopping spree, second prize a $50 shopping spree, third prize a $25 shopping spree. So there you go, there's all about the upcycle challenge right there. And um, I will now point you down to my project so we can see what we're working on today. Let's have a look. Um, I'll be working on this basket, but also this little bucket that now it's already pre been painted green a long time ago. I've been holding, I think I've been holding brushes and things like that in this little bucket, but I thought it needs something here. Then I thought green, oh my goodness, St. Patrick's Day coming up. Let's use some of the beautiful new St. Patrick's Day gnome transfers. I don't know if anyone has some of these, but, um, and a reminder, <clears throat> Essential Stencil will be giving away on today's live some transfers. So rub-on transfers, I don't know if they're this ones, they could be random rub-on transfer sets that they will send to our prize winners today. So not stencils, if you haven't tried the rub-on transfers, here's a chance to win some. So I thought I'd pop a rub-on transfer here on this green bucket and maybe we could even stencil the back of it because there's some fun um, St. Patrick's Day rub-on transfers, um, you know, uh, not rub on transfer, stencil sets. Um, I'm just going to pop my screen back so I can see some of your comments. All right, it's a cute little bucket, isn't it? It's going to hold my pot of gold. Look at this. Now someone, I found these, I, don't, I can't even remember where I got them from, but someone's painted these gold. I don't know if you can see the shimmer there, but they're actually apparently gold, they're pieces of wood, but they're apparently the size of a gold bar. And so interesting, I'm going to put that in here for my pot of gold at the end, at the end of the rainbow, no, at the end of the live. <laughs> I'll, I'll see if I can remember. I just wanted to show you quickly these rub-on transfers because sometimes you might think to yourself, oh, St. Patrick's Day, I don't know. But guys, look a little closer at the other things that are on here. We've got horseshoe. Um, that's cute. That could even be used, you know, I don't know, people still do horseshoes for wedding kind of themes as well these days. You don't, you can cut out every part of these little transfers. So you can cut out all of these things individually to rub them on to different projects. So you could remove that little piece in there if you just wanted a horseshoe for something. We have got, let's see, the rainbows. Where is that? The car, this one's got a lot of gnomes on it, but lots of fun. We've got four leaf clovers that you can use for fun things. And have a look at this sheet. So each set comes with these two sheets. So this is also linked in our description of our live today. Uh, we've got a four leaf clover, we've got a pot of gold, this cute little banner here, but look, there's a little paint swoosh. Did you miss that? It's a little paint swoosh. You could use that as a background for a stencil, a tiny little stencil somewhere, a little bit of green paint swoosh. I like this, how about this green rainbow? It's got, I think they're four leaf clovers around the outside, but you could cut out this and use the rainbow for something. A whole green car. Now that that car, you could use that for something other than St. Patrick's Day. Look at that. That's a rub-on transfer. There's a green gift that could be used for a birthday or something. Um, so there's all sorts of fun little things that you can find. Little sprinkles, sprinkles here that you can cut out and use. So today for our bucket, uh, I think I will use one of these fun gnomes that's in the center. We are gonna be using some stencils today too, so stay tuned. So all we have to do for our rub-on transfers is cut out the actual piece you want. So I've kind of measured my bucket to see what will fit. Some of these are a little bit too large for my bucket. Let me see, has anyone else? I haven't seen here yet um, the, oh, how do I see? All of the comments, they're swooshing by. I wanna see, um, who else has done some recycle projects today? So let me know in the comments. I'm trying to catch your comments, but sometimes they swoosh by a little bit quickly. Okay, and then we'll need our transfer tool. So that should come with your set of transfer sheets. Um, if not, you can always, if you don't have one, or if you've lost it, you can always use a credit card or a store card um, or anything really that's really hard and plastic and can rub the transfer on. Now this bucket has little ridges. Will the transfer stick into those little ridges? I don't know, but that's all, that's why we do these lives and, and um, 
things for you today. Oh, Bronwyn ordered about three sets of these St. Patrick's Day transfers today. Awesome. That is so cool. Hi, Tina. Thanks for tuning in. Um, stay tuned, guys, because we have a Rob on Transfer giveaway today. And we're talking all about our fun upcycle challenge. Okay, so here's what we do with the transfers. So those of you winning prizes today, top tips for transfers right here on our lives. I've, the the um, little four leaf clovers are actually separate. You could have cut those out separately, but I want to keep them all in place right there. So let's find a spot on our bucket. I'm gonna have to stand up to do this. And looking at about where the center is, once you've got it down, you pretty much can't lift it off. Okay, so it just fits on my bucket. So I'm gonna go one side and then I'm going to go the other side and I am going to have to rub on the in, in between because this has got little ridges and I want it to stick into the ridges. So my husband did ask me, he said, How's, how are you gonna do it on those little ridges in there? And I said, I don't know, we're gonna try it. You guys love it when we try things, don't you? You'd rather we try it here than and learn from our mistakes, I'm sure. <laughs> they are cute, Tina. These transfers are really cute. Now, don't forget, guys, there's also, forgot to mention this, free shipping all January at Essential Stencil. That includes these transfers. So if you thought, oh, I missed getting those transfers, or if you see something else that you need today, Add it into your project. And um, I think there's only about, I can't remember if I wrote this down, there's only about 60 something of these 66 transfers left, the St. Patrick's Day transfers. So if you did want them, like that little green car, I think that is so cute for, I don't know, a little kid's room. Add a, another stencil to make a sign with that. So if you missed it, I'm adding a rub-on transfer to this green bucket that has ridges in it. So I'm using the corner of my transfer rub-on tool to try and get right in. I can see that it's coming off. See those areas where it's lifted? <clears throat> so we want it to lift off the plastic and stay on the bucket, the little sticker part, the transfer part. So I can't wait to see what you're all doing for your upcycle challenges. So let us know in the comments if I've seen, if I see any. Um, yes, someone mentioned you can rub these transfers on glass. Yes, I've done it on a glass jar before. I've done one of my lives. I did a sunflower transfer on a glass jar. Okay, so I can see it lifting off here. Let's see if there's any pieces that are stuck to the plastic. No, it's lifting off quite nicely really well. If you do see any pit bits sticking to the plastic, we just have to rub them back down again. Now, the, the bucket was just um, a galvanized or some kind of tin bucket that I picked up from somewhere years ago and I painted it in a milk paint, Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint, in this green color. And when I saw it just lying around the house, or well, it was in my workshop, I think, I thought, wow, that'd be perfect for a St. Patrick's Day project. Make my own little, make me own little pot of gold. No, that's not an Irish accent. Don't even try, Sharon. Okay, and today, if you've just joined us, we're talking about our upcycle challenge. And there are prizes for entering into the upcycle challenge with Essential Stencil. All the details are at the link that we will post in the comments, pin it to the comments. And it's also in our description of our live. So thank you so much for joining us today. Let everybody know that we're live and that there are prizes. We're giving away rub-on transfers today. So uh, we're also talking about our upcycle challenge. You've got two more days to enter the challenge and submit your upcycle project and tag Essential Stencil. Just post it on your Instagram or your Facebook page. If you have a, a um, private page, you may just want to post your, your upcycle project um, using the public post option. 
on your Facebook page so that Essential Stencil can see it. Otherwise, if you have a private page and you post something, even if you tag them, they won't be able to see that. So make sure that you've done that. All right, it's nearly done. I can feel it's coming off nicely, even though we've got those ridges there. Just being really careful to peel that off. Oops, sorry, we've got to lift that up a bit there. Making sure that none of the transfer remains on the white clear plastic. Ah, Ta-da! And the plastic's all clean. So that means all of our little gnome got popped on the jar. So the, some of the greens are blending there, but you can see how cute that looks. It's a little pot of gold. How fun is that? So let me point this down here. Just a reminder, use my code, I restore stuff. Free shipping for January, so if you did want some of these, pop them in your order, these transfers. So I showed you these before, but I just wanted to show you again that cute little car would look great on anything, not just a St. Patrick's Day thing. Um, horseshoe, four-leaf clovers, that's the St. Patrick's Day transfers. The links for all of the things I'm using today are in the description of the live. So I'll be using, I'll be um, transferring, I mean doing stencils on this basket here. You may think, well how is she going to put stencils on a woven basket? Well, stay tuned because we're going to be doing that. Two days left to join the Upcycle Challenge. All right. <clears throat> On the other side of our bucket here today, I knew I'd forget something. I forgot my piece of cardboard to just um, offload. Here we go. Found it to offload my paint because when you're stenciling, that's one of the most important things that you will need. Oh yes, Susan, you ordered um, sets of, two sets of brushes today. Guys, the brushes, the essential stencil brushes are back in stock. So a set of four, hang on, I've got two sets here. So let me not confuse you. I think, anyway, there's two sets of um, essential stencil brushes. There is, there is a set of four. So um, they're back in stock. A lot of you have been waiting for those. Tammy's asking, how do we join the challenge? I'm so glad you asked. There's a link right there that's pinned. It's a pinned comment, Tammy. So see that comment that's pinned by Essential Stencil? It says, there's a little flame and it says two days left to join the Upcycle Challenge. So click on that link and it'll take you to all the details. I showed them earlier in the live too, so you can watch the replay and see where on the website and what the, the details are there. Uh, so the mini stencil set that I thought would be fun is this one the luckiest and it's a six pack of six inch by six inch stencils and it's got some really fun stencils in this one for St. Patrick's Day. We have got the shamrock which has got that buffalo check behind it. Um, we've also got lucky and blessed. Put this behind it so you can see them easier. The luckiest with great big four leaf clover there. Uh, we've got Irish Kisses and Shamrock Wishes. That's cute. I was going to put that one on, but it didn't quite fit on the bucket. And then we've got Just a Wee Bit Irish. That's a better accent. Was that a bit better? Just a Wee Bit Irish. I think I'll use that one. And then, of course, the cute jar with four-leaf clovers filled in it, which you could also just use the jar and tape over the shamrocks and put something else in there if you wanted to. So. So many different uses for all of these stencils. So that is the six by six. All of these stencil sets are in the description of the live, um, which you can click on probably after the live goes, finishes, I think. Okay, so I'm going to add this one, but it's not quite going to fit. So my words aren't going to fit top to bottom. So I thought I can just leave off the word just and just put a wee bit Irish, don't you think? I could do that. Okay, so we'll just tape that off. And the colour I'm going to use today is a Fusion Mineral Paint colour. One of their new colours called Manor Green. And this is just one of the little sample pots that you can get from them. If you are wanting the Fusion Mineral Paint, just let me know in the comments and I can get you an affiliate link that I have for, that, for them. I'd love for you to use that if you, if you want to. I'm just putting my tape on my apron so that it doesn't create too much sticky. Okay, I'm going to need two pieces because 
I can tape across here, but I've got this little bit of the letter still under here. So I just need another little paste. Because if I turned it on an angle to tape that, it wasn't going, it was going to cover up the A. Okay, so. Thank you, Tina. Yes, great minds, think alike. A wee bit Irish, so I didn't have to put the just in there. Okay, so you might be tempted to tape down these ends here and so that it doesn't move. But I would suggest when you've got something with a round surface like this, and especially I've got these little ridges in my green pot, that we are going to just do one side at a time. So if I, because it leaves a bit of a gap, there's a ridge here and a ridge here and the stencil's wanting to lift higher than the, um, than the pot, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm looking for the center, kind of kind of center it and I just have to hop up here a minute because I'm taking off the word just at the top. I want to lift it a bit. So there we go. I can put it so that it is under this bottom ridge here. Now I could possibly take down one side that might be helpful, but if you really got a steady hand, you could um, see how it's going to turn. So when you're doing it on a, an, a round surface like a bucket, uh, because it's a tapered down bucket, it's going to turn and look a little bit this way, your stencil, but that's okay. Oop, it's coming undone and I don't have my paint pot lid off. So we're just going to have to leave that right there and hope that it stays. <laughs> um, Dominica is asking, you don't know how to tag a page. So when you put the at symbol, so the at symbol, like as in if you wanted to tag my page, which is I restore stuff, you would put the at, then all one word, I restore stuff. So for essential stencil, you put the at and then essential stencil and it should on Facebook and Instagram, it should pop up with some options there. And if you see essential stencils page pop up, just click it and then you've tagged the page. So that's how you tag a page. So if you're post posting your upcycle challenge project, just make sure you're tagging essential stencil on either Instagram or Facebook. Okay, I've dipped my brush in, but look, this is way too much paint on a brush. So we're going to offload that both in the pot because I don't want to waste all of that paint that I've got on the brush. And also on my piece of cardboard that I've got here to offload. Mike, the ambassador code to use today is I restore stuff. And that's my code to get you 10% off anything in Essential Stencils shop, including their transfers, their brushes, their wooden tags, the stencils, everything. So, and it's great to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. If it's your first time and you're new here today, we want to welcome you. So join in the conversation. You might have a chance of winning some prizes. All right. So I've got this on a curve and I'm going to go with the, the uh, bits down the bottom first. I'm sort of, oh, there, my tapes just popped away, but I'm trying to keep it really still with my hand. Okay, so this is a darker green. I'm just going to dab this a little bit more and offload here because I do need a bit more on the brush. But as I always say, it's better to have less on your brush than too much because too much on your brush can cause bleed underneath the stencil. So because I can see this stencil is lifting slightly away from the pot, I want to be very careful. I'm not doing my normal swirl method. I'm doing a pounce and wriggle. I don't know if that makes sense, but I'm pouncing and wriggling. I'm going to have to get up here and concentrate a little bit more because it's starting to shift. We've got a curved edge here. I've got these splashes here, but I think I'll wait to do those and make sure I get these words in nice and accurately. Are we seeing? I'm holding it close yeah. enough to you zooming in on my camera. <laughs> I am the camera person here. Okay, so now I'm turning it. Just got to get this little A up here. So I've got more paint here on the board that I can just grab that. Going around, holding it very still. I might get paint on my fingers, but that's okay. 
so it's not a full swirling method I'm using. I'm just pouncing it in and wriggling the brush to make sure I get it right in those lines without getting bleed and fuzzy edges on our stencil. We might get a few, but that's okay. Um, so anything you're upcycling, you know, it, sometimes those things were destined for the trash anyway, right? But I love that we can upcycle some things and add a new lease of life to something that might otherwise have become landfill. Whoops. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're right off there. <laughs> That's not going to turn out very well if I've, if I've gone off my letters. Offloading. A wee bit Irish. So this stencil, I've linked that in my description of the live. Maybe while we're live, I'm not sure if you can see the link descriptions, but you'll be able to see that after the live's finished in the post area. Okay, got our little four leaf clover here. Now we've got some splashes. Those splashes don't really need to be in exactly the right place, but I'm just going to go with it. Oh, and I'm painting my nails while we're at it. As you do. Green nails. Okay, so I can see there a few little fuzzy edges, but not too bad. And now I'll just go around here and put these splashes on around about where they're supposed to go. really tricky holding it on um, rounded tins. Not too bad. A little bit fuzzy but that's all due to just having it on a rounded surface. Also it's raised a little bit with those bumps there. But there's a wee bit Irish and if you missed it earlier we have done some rub-on transfers today folks and here is one of the cutest rub-on transfers of a little gnome sitting in a pot of gold. Um, a great St. Patrick's Day transfer. So we finished with that one. There's one upcycle. So we'll seal that probably with some tough coat sealer, a wee bit Irish. Got it ready for my pot of gold. And then I'm going to work on my basket next. So I don't know if you've got some upcycled baskets around the house, um, but I have a few. I'll wash that in a minute. And I'm going to put, I didn't bring my, put that in a wet cloth because I don't have any water right here right now. And the next one project I want to work on, it is cute. Yes, don't worry, uh, Laurie, if you missed the transfer, roll on transfer, you can go back and watch the um, replay after and see that. So this is a basket. It's got a liner in it. You could always, to change up a look of something, you could simply take that liner off and use it as a basket. You wouldn't have to keep that liner on. So you could do that, take that whole thing off. I don't, I'm not sure whether I want to keep that off or on right now, so I'll just leave it on for now. Um, so I wanted to play around with numbers today. Something I think is a bit fun and a bit kind of industrial um, and farmhousey kind of looking. Um, Dominica was asking what kind of brush on sealer do I use? I'm using the Fusion uh, Tough Coat Wipe On Poly and the matte version. You can, that comes in a matte or a gloss. You can ask for my affiliate link and in the comments I'll add that for you later. <coughs> Jeanette says you've only been stenciling for a few months. And you've learning a lot from all of the ambassadors videos. I'm so glad. That is really great. I'm glad that you're enjoying these videos. Okay, so I've got a basket here. Now, sometimes you might have this on a shelf to pull out this way, or you may have it on a just sitting on a bookshelf or something, um, with, which just has a smaller width here, and you might be facing this way. So I think it, it's fun to just add a few industrial numbers onto it. Now, what numbers you might want to put on that is totally up to you. But I thought it would be fun to use... Um, so I'm going to be using... I don't see the name on this, so I think it's a number set, but I have added the link, and they're just these numbers with like a, a number one right through to... Uh, zero. We've got zero on there. They're perfect for fitting on the little house blocks 
that we that essential stencil sells as well. So we've got wooden blocks there. You can get all of those things, 10% off using my code, I restore stuff at essentialstencil.com. But today I thought, and you know, you might want to put your house number, you might want to put your birth date, um, some kind of number that's significant to you. You maybe have a lucky number or a favorite number or whatever. Um, but today I thought it'd be fun to put on the number 91. And that, to me, that's representing Psalm 91, which is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Let me see, have I got this back to front? I do, I nearly put it on backwards. So number one, so we're just going to use, we're not going to use the words, we're just going to use the numbers. So to do that, we want to just take off those numbers. Yes, very uneven surfaces I'm working with today. Someone just mentioned that, again, I'm just taping my, on my apron to pick up a bit of the fabric fluff so that it doesn't stick too hard onto the stencil because it, otherwise it does stick fairly well to surfaces, whether it's a painted surface or whatever. That's my way of just creating a bit of less stickiness to my painter's tape. All right, uh, so I'm gonna put it across this way because afterwards I was thinking about putting some letters like PS for Psalm, you could put that here, or you could just leave it as 91. I think that's fun too. So I wanna start with the one because I'm moving it to the right of the project. I want to start with the one and I might try adding a bit of tape here. This one leaving it sticky because I want it to adhere really well. Let's put one down here because this basket is already like it's probably not going to stick very well. I'm not going to bother detacking it. Amy, the paint that I'm using on all of my projects today is Fusion Mineral Paint and you can use my um, affiliate link that I can pop in the comments if you um, ask I will pop that in for you the link okay so this is a color called lamp white so I usually do show all of the paints and again I'll mention it again our brushes are back in stock so all of the brushes they come in a set of four stencil brushes perfect for stenciling um, and I will just get the lid off here so I'll just use I've shaken that up I'm gonna use a little bit of the paint on my brush and then I'm going to add or wipe that what we call is offload offloading the brush right here I want to work it into the bristles offload a bit of the paint and again this is an uneven surface oops I'm just added paint I think to the bottom <laughs> just set that in my offload thing all good so lamp white is an off white with some grayish undertones. Again, because this is an uneven surface, I'm just being careful not to do too much swirling, but I'm smooshing. So who can tell me? <laughs> I hope you understand the difference between swirling, which is continuous swirling, and smooshing, which I'm coming off the edge and just smooshing it into the weave. So it's got a woven fabric here. And I just love this kind of industrial farmhousey kind of a look for just adding a bit of zhuzh to an old basket that might be just sitting there and you're thinking of getting rid of it. Well, that's what this upcycle challenge this week is all about. So much fun. And I'm seeing you guys tagging um, hashtag ES upcycle challenge. Is that the one? Hashtag ES upcycle challenge. Let me look real quickly. Oh, oh, I forgot to look at the details page. The hashtag is, and someone can pop it in there for me. Hashtag ES upcycle challenge. That is the hashtag. So those are the details on how to enter. Just upload your project tag at essential stencil and use the hashtag ES upcycle challenge. All right, so there's my number one. And that has really nice non-blurry fuzzy edges because we were very careful to um, just smoosh. Uh, um, yeah, we didn't swirl too much to go under the, under the stencil. So that has a bit of a gap further than here, but I'm trying to get it vertical. So I'm going with the 
weave and not necessarily the angle because there's a bit of an oh sorry you can't see there's a bit of an angle here on the side the uh, basket tapers upwards <clears throat> okay so I did have the actual stencil at the base of the basket so let me do that here taping that off here and again down here Susan says nice mine would probably be a furry 91 well Susan I'm sure after practice <laughs> and that's the thing you can you can just upcycle something that hey you were just going to get rid of it anyway so it really doesn't matter if you mess it up sometimes our um, you know our practices can be on those things that you know maybe there's a basket that's so dirty that you are going to literally put it in the trash just practice on a weave like that and then practice on or maybe you know those woven placemats that, that could be a good thing to practice on that's old and you're going to get rid of um, but just going on the edges here I'm just wriggling it and then we don't get any fuzziness holding it down too with my fingers uh, in these areas because we've got that uneven bumpy surface now this one you don't really necessarily need to seal this fusion mineral paint sort of has a built-in sealer so unlike chalk paint which is a porous finish uh, it's got a built-in sort of top coat but if you wanted to like I mean this basket it's going to sit on a shelf if it was made for you know if you're putting toys in it or something and kids are going to get in and out and bashing and scratching then maybe you could seal it with just that same tough coat wipe on tough coat sealer you can brush it on or wipe it on but I am not going to seal this one the other thing I think I'll mention too is when you're painting on woven materials or hessian what do you call it um, burlap things like that sometimes the fabric or the weave can soak it in and you'll notice that as I'm painting this is doing a little bit of that soaking in so you may need a second coat but I think it's still bright enough that you can see it's perfectly fine just like that it stands out it'll stand out on the shelf if you wanted to when that dries you could even scuff that a little bit if you wanted to make it more worn look but I love the 91 um, and you could like I said before get one of the small letters and I didn't bring them out today but you could get a P and an S and a little dot and write Psalm 91 so if I'm doing it now on the side of the basket if my basket is one that's going to go in and out of a shelf instead of sit on a shelf like this how about we go with these and now this is the numbers tags and I believe I wrote this down but there's not very many of these left what is it the numbers tags oh no that's the thing those other numbers that I showed you this pack here there's only 12 left of these so if you wanted these grab them now or they will go um, they will go sold out so these are the numbers that have their nice large numbers for basket projects like this there's only 12 left um, but this one I made a note that these are 23% off you save they're on sale at the moment these mini tag numbers are on sale for $12.95 they're 23% off their regular price so if you want to grab these those are on sale so these ones have the they don't have it on the zero because they've got it on the main numbers is the little word number one so they put it on every one so it's spaced the same as all of the others um, so then that way I can do the one and the whoops and the nine let's find it and do 91 over here or I might want to put for example 316 and why would I put that I wonder let's see that would be a fun idea 3 16 and that would represent John 3 16 which is one of my other favorite a lot of people's favorite Bible verses what do you use the tags on so there's little wooden tags and I didn't bring any to show you today but you can look those up on the essential stencil site lots of um, great examples of what you can do with those okay so I'm going to let's see if I can pull this up just slightly I'm going to do this on an angle because if I well I could do it down like this and then tip it forward when I need to 
So um, what do you use the tags for? People use them and hang the wooden tags. You can even stencil on cardboard. You don't have to stencil on, but the wooden tags are great for tiered tray decor, for hanging on knobs, for just even hanging them on the wall. And they can be double-sided. You could put one for seasonal, one for holidays. So many different uses. And we've done them on a lot of lives. So if you look up some of our lives and look up mini tags, you'll see those there. All right, so if I'm doing three 16 on the front side of this, I want to leave room for some little dot dots, and I probably could use that for dot dots right here, you know, the little hole that's in the tag, or I could use the tiny hole of the number, but that hole looks like it'd be a good one. So I kind of probably want to center this one because it won't uh, probably all go over to one side. So I could just, you know, find a nice place, a nice spot for the three there, and then the 16 could be over on the other side, let's see if we can get this done here. Yes, Stephanie, for God to love the world, gave his only son. Yes, so John 3.16, so that's what it would represent for me. Now, I'm. you could tape over the number, the little number word up here. I'm just going to, it's not, it's not close enough to the number three that it would accidentally get brushed on, but I'm just going to put my fingers over the top just in case because you never know. Okay, so there's our three. Super quick that was. And then, now when you're doing, a, you know, two numbers over here, I've literally just lined it up with the bottom. I'm going to start with the outside one and then go with the inside one and then leave room for those dots there. And just remembering that my three, how far apart from the edge did that go? Oh, it went right to the corner. <clears throat> so if I do the six right to the corner, that will be the right amount. Uh, it'll be sort of more centered then. That makes sense. Okay, I think it's the other number set. There's only 12 left of. This set is on sale. And don't forget, free shipping all January. Use my code, iRestoreStuff, right there at the top, iRestoreStuff, and get 10% off. So not only do you get free shipping, but you also get 10% off using my code. Okay, so we've got a little wriggle here happening. There's our three and our six, and now our one, which I've put here somewhere. Thanks, Jeanette. She loves that idea with the basket. It is a great set. Numbers are always great for everything. You can, um, you know, do family name signs where you've got, you know, the year of that you were married or the year that you came together as a family. Uh, you've also got, you can use them for age, you know, um, milestones for babies, you know, or age for children. And you can pop them with photos in a little photo collage or something. So, so many different uses for these. Once again, I'm just going to pop my fingers over that the words there, make sure I don't get that in. And just doing a little wriggle, a little smush, but remember, hardly got anything on the brush so that I don't get uh, fuzzy edges and bleed underneath. Okay, so I like the way that that turned out. Nice. Now we're going to try and center two dots in here. So, here we go. One on that weave right there. I'm just choosing a central spot between here and here. And oh, hopefully that's right. I could do one, but I'm going to do two. There we go. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Look at that. 316. How cool. 316. Oh, where's my other one? And if you missed it earlier, we did 91. Just symbolizes Psalm 91 for me. God's protection over us. And then salvation message right here in John 316. There you go. It's a fun idea for the basket. Let's see. Do I have time to do my coasters? You know, they're going to be so quick. Let's just do it. And then I'll show you my, uh, and if you missed it earlier, we did a rub on transfer. So we're doing three upcycle projects today and another stencil for St. Patrick's Day in my pot of gold right here. Um, but I'm just going to use those same stencils and just do a simple one, two, three, four on these. Let's have a go. And I want to catch your comments too because I want to hear what you've been doing for your um, upcycle challenge. So this time I am going to use 
the word number. So we've just got fun, simple, easy, number one, number two, number three, number four on our coaster set. And if you do have some wooden coasters like this, this one, these ones um, had a bit of a glossy kind of finish, but because I'm using this same Fusion Mineral Paint in the colour Lamp White, Fusion is really made and built to stick to furniture and, and so on. And so it should, I have de-glossed the surface and what you can do to do that, oh, I feel like I've got too much on my brush. To de-gloss your surface is you just need to sand it, scuff sand it with a bit of sandpaper, maybe like a, a 180 grit, something like that, or a 240. And then you have a nice, you're keying the surface. So if it does have a kind of a gloss finish on it, scuff that surface really well because in the end you're going to be sealing it. And uh, there we have a nice crisp number one. So I'm popping them on the, onto one side. It doesn't really matter, you could center it if you wanted to. Let's find our other stencils here. Oop. Number two, we're gonna need number four. And we've got number three hidden over here. So I've got four, four, a set of four coasters then. So these ones, I don't know if you can see, but there's sort of a little wear of a ring mark and I've sanded that back as much as I can. So these were just going to be tossed out. So once again, you can just recycle, upcycle. And so when you put a stencil on it, you could put any stencil you want, by the way, because some of these, um, some of the other mini tag sets have great sayings and things like that that you could uh, put on there. See, I haven't even dipped my brush back in. I've still got plenty from when I did this one on the brush. That's how much I had on there. Probably shouldn't have had that much. Um, but see how you can just kind of add anything in it. Then it could possibly detract from some of those little watermarks that might have been on there and you won't see them as much. So then when I'm finished stenciling on these and once it's completely dry, I'll use that sealer. There we go. Just a reminder, free shipping all of January from Essential Stencils. So for those of you who are just joining now, uh, just letting you know. And a reminder for those of you who are thinking, ah, I should have got that set. Um, you can still get it. Pop it in your cart. Use my code, I restore stuff. Get your 10% <coughs> off. For using my ambassador code and you'll be all set for St. Patrick's Day or whatever number occasion you might need numbers for. Imagine you know birthdays things like that people might use the numbers for like I said before baby milestones you could put three months. Some of the alphabet sets too are great for using for baby names things like that. This one I'm able to do a little bit more of a swirl. There we go, that one's got a bit more of a uh, rustic look about it. Nice and crisp because we have offloaded onto the cardboard. Okay, so I'm centering it, but sort of putting it towards the right so that I've got some room here to stick, but you could center yours completely if you wanted to. I just wanted this little number word up in the corner. So here we go with our last one. And did I mention, stay in the comments, have a good old chat because Essential Stencil will be picking prize winners at the end of our live from the conversation right here. So um, if you're new to stenciling or if you've never used rub-on transfers before, here's a good chance to win some because today on today's live, we are going to give away uh, three sets of rub-on transfers. So if you're a prize winner today, you'll have to Contact Essential Stencil, that will all come up when they announce the winners at the end of our live. But before we go, I do want to just uh, remind you of our upcycle challenge because that, even big, bigger and better prizes, <laughs> if you um, enter the challenge, if you um, tag Essential Stencil, tag, uh, put a hashtag ES upcycle challenge on your Facebook or Instagram page. Don't forget that you need to use a uh, do a project that is using any of Essential Stencil's stencils or 
their um, their transfers, the rub-on transfers, okay? So if your project is, and it's, it has to be upcycled, it can't be a brand new, you know, wood sign that you've created from brand new. It has to be something that you've upcycled either in your home or you've bought it from a thrift store or something like that. So here's our four little coasters. Look at that, with the numbers on them. Let me put that like this. And I just wanted to show you again. Yes, Rhonda, they, you, no, who was that who rem remembered? Mary said they go with the TV trays that I made last year. Yes, the table trays. I made these table trays and upcycled those last year. So here's one project. We've done three projects today. Our big 91 on a basket with 316 on the side. So you can see that. And then we've got our Irish bucket with a stencil on the back that says, just a wee bit, no, it says a wee bit Irish, and I've got my pot of gold bars right there. So this is a rub on transfer, guys. So I'll just uh, finish that off with a bit of, of this tough coat sealer that I showed you earlier. Now Fusion has that. It's a non-yellowing one, so it goes really well um, on over white finishes, like white furniture pieces, etc. too. So you just pop a little bit in the, in the dish and paint it on with any paintbrush. You just give that a nice seal over the top and then it will be good to go. So I will do that after we've finished our projects. But let me just open up again before we um, announce the winners. Let me just show you in the background here. Oops. On my screen up behind me. Da -da 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 -da. Here's how to enter the upcycle challenge. Now, if you click the link at the top of our that pinned comment, uh, one of the pinned comments there, you'll see the Upcycle Challenge link. It'll take you to this page with all the details on how to enter. You've got to create your project out of something upcycled using Essential Stencils pro, uh, products and then uh, take a photo of it. Uh, that makes sure that it highlights exactly the piece you want to highlight. Then post it on your Facebook or Instagram page. Make sure those are public accounts. So if you have a private account, just create a Facebook post that has the little world, you know, instead of just to your friends, make sure it's going to the little world, which is everybody so that the whole world sees your wonderful project and um, use the hashtag ES upcycle challenge you also need to tag at essential stencil so all the details are right there you can see them up here there's lots of inspiration for you there um, so those remember at the end of the challenge they'll be selecting the top three projects to feature on the page for the community to vote on so the top three submissions will win an essential stencil shopping spree and the shopping spree Da, 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 da. We've got $100 uh, first prize, second prize $50, third prize $25 to spend at Essential, Spen Essential Stencil. So that is all today, folks. Let me see if I can see our winners today. Let me know if you see the winners pop up on our project today. But my upcycle challenge, I grabbed a basket, stenciled on that, grabbed a bucket that was already painted green, did a transfer on here and a stencil on the back. There's our winners. I'll just click on that to see if I can see them. And we did some coasters, so wooden coasters upcycled. All right, let's see if I can see this. Congratulations. Winners, today we've got Candice, Casey, and Leslie. You have won today, not stencils, you have won rub-on transfers today. And I'm so excited for you to try those if you haven't tried them already. So if you're a winner today, uh, that's Candice, Casey, and Leslie. You've been tagged. Please email support at Essential Stencil. Let them know you were a winner on Sharon's Live today and they will post you your prizes. So thank you guys so much for watching. All the best with the challenge. I can't wait to see your projects. You know that if you're on Instagram or Facebook, if you go to the hashtag ESUpcycleChallenge, click on that and have a look at some of the other projects that have already been posted and already entered into the challenge. There's lots of great inspiration there. So. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you next week for another fun DIY live. I'm Sharon from the blog I Restore Stuff. You can follow me at I Restore Stuff. Don't forget to share our live. Use uh, the code I Restore Stuff for 10% off all of your essential stencils. Thanks a lot. Bye.